Patience is a virtue, and if you don't have it, you can always build it up through experience. When I give up, it is normally because I suddenly realise how much is left to do to the project, and that it doesn't live up to my expectations. This sort of uncertainty is reduced if you've completed similar projects in the past. Think of making a project as, like, climbing a mountain. You advance through the stages, think you're nearing the top, only to find another part of it that was previously hidden from view. I would say to start with a project that you feel you can complete easily, as even these can be surprisingly challenging to complete. By completing the projects you start, you will have a more rounded knowledge of the process and will be able to better pace yourself in the future. To demonstrate this, I'll talk about the songs that I make. When I started making music, I created very, very basic tunes, but they were good all-rounders for what they were, and I still enjoy listening to them for that reason. I doubt I'd look back as fondly if I was trying too hard to make an epic song that was beyond my ability. This would be like comparing two movies from the same year, one that sells because of its high-tech special effects, and the other for its storyline. Fast forward 10 years, and the CGI that made the former film good will be old and dated, while the other film will still be of value because storylines age less quickly than graphics. I'm actually surprised by how little criticism my earlier songs have received. Perhaps the music community is less fickle and more mature and supportive than the gaming industry. In fact, I get more requests on new grounds for my older ones to be used in games than I do for my new ones, so they still seem to be serving a purpose. I believe that my early songs would have failed if they were competing for the same place as my newer, more complex ones, as I'd have strained myself to finish them and they would sound unbalanced and amateurish in comparison. Just by starting a project over and over again, you aren't gaining all of the knowledge you need to finish one. Only by getting to the final stages can you truly get a balanced understanding of the design process. For example, my friend and I made a game called Santa's Atnas back in 2007, which was an RPG like Final Fantasy. I would work on the battles and he on the world map. We smeared the two parts together close to the deadline and had a working game, but when we finally got around to playtesting the full game, it revealed problems you couldn't even have imagined or predicted until the two parts were together. With hindsight, we probably got more credit than we deserved for the ambition of the projects. In competitions, the games would often do very well, perhaps by judges who didn't enjoy or understand them, but perhaps assumed that it was their own fault for not being bothered to learn the gameplay mechanics properly. Santa's Atnas even had a glitch that stopped the player from advancing beyond oh an God, early part of the game. This was only picked up by us a long time after the competition had ended. The fact that nobody else had found it, including ourselves, should have signalled as a sign of how poor the game was. There were far too many battles and the main character walked too slowly across the world. These two combined made it far too time consuming to travel anywhere. The fix only took about 5 minutes, but we left it too late to do anything about it. The enemies the characters fought were too easy in places and too hard in others. Without knowledge of how much money you'd earn and where you could buy upgraded weapons from, it was impossible to balance. Less polish in both parts of the game separately, and more time playtesting them as a whole would have led to a far better game. An example of not pacing myself properly in mapping would be Deep Balfour. Gameplay wise, I finished it, but there was so much I could have added with just an extra day. I rushed to add detail to areas, while other people in the same competition spent that time adjusting the lighting, improving the gameplay, or simply by playtesting it with a community and promoting it further. There are a lot of advantages of finishing things early, and it's something I improved upon with Kyrenia, which had about a week of tweaking before the deadline. It means an awful lot to have spare time before the deadline, as there is always something that comes along to try and trip you up. 